Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So look what I found on Amazon. So this is a Chef Boyardee retro pizza making kit. They don't sell them in the stores anymore, so you're not going to believe how much I paid for this. So when they were in the stores, I didn't even like them all that much, but I did make it one time and I added my own toppings and I made it really, really good. So I think when I used to have this, like when I was a kid, whenever anyone made it, they only made it with what was ever in the box, and it was really plain and nasty. But then, you know, what you're supposed to do is add your own toppings. So it's just basically like a starter kit. But anyway, when these were in the stores, um, I believe for a single box, it was like 2 or $3. And this has two, two kits in it. And I paid $15 and free shipping on Amazon. I figured I did like the pizza the last time I had it. Um, this might be the last time I ever have it again. I doubt I'll pay another $15. I have two pizza kits and I could make a YouTube video. So anyway guys, um, what's in the box is some mix to make the pizza dough, some sauce, I believe it's in like in a can, and some Parmesan cheese. That is it. So you really have to use your imagination to make this kit into a really good pizza, and I do. I even add to the crust. I add all kinds of stuff. I'll show you guys what I do to make this actually a really, really good pizza. And what makes it good, actually, is the sauce. So the sauce that this pizza comes with is really, really distinctive. So I remember what this sauce tastes like, and it's really good. So now I'm going to show you guys what's in the box. Okay, guys, so this is all that's in the box. Yep, I paid $15 for this. So um, there's two separate packages to make the pizza dough and only one can of sauce, which I don't like. They should have gave me two small cans of sauce so I could make the pizza, the next pizza, whenever I want, maybe next month or whatever, you know. But anyway, I can store the remainder because the sauce is what makes this pizza good. It's not just a, you know, a little sack of flour. And also, the pepperonis are in the sauce. I know it sounds gross to you guys, but it's really good. So anyway, I'm going to get started. And the directions tells you on the box exactly how to make the crust. So I'm going to get that started and show you what it looks like. Okay, so it says to add two-thirds cup of warm water and mix it up really good, coat it in like olive oil or something like that, and then cover it and let it sit. So at this point, if you guys want to add anything to the mixture, I usually add like um, when I'm making my own pizza dough, I add like a little bit of garlic salt, garlic powder, or Parmesan cheese, just a little bit. Hey, I just noticed something. They used to give you a pack of Parmesan cheese in this container. Do you guys remember? So it was, they gave you the, um, the mix for the dough, the sauce, and they gave you a pack of Parmesan cheese. And they did not. So anyway, that's okay. I have Parmesan cheese, but still, I paid $15. Anyway, so I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of garlic powder or salt, just to season this dough up just a little bit. I'm going to get it all mixed up, then I'm going to show you. Parmesan cheese, I got my little bit of garlic salt, that's just how I make my pizza crust. Added the water, now I'm going to get it all mixed up. Okay, so I got it all mixed up, and um, I coated it in oil because the dough is really, really sticky. So now I'm going to cover it up and it says to let it sit in a warm place for about five minutes. So still waiting for the dough to rise. I wanted to use my new pizza pan. It's aerated, but I think it's going to be too big and there's really not enough dough in this little pizza kit. So I'm going to use my old standby. I know it looks terrible, but it's going to do the job. Okay, so it looks like it's ready. It's more than doubled in size. So I'm going to get this all spread out on the pizza pan. And what I do is I like to stick the pizza crust in the oven and give it like a head start before I put on the sauce and the toppings. Just to ensure that the crust gets really 
um, brown and cooked thoroughly. So this is what it looks like so far. And for those of you who have ever tried one of these Chef Boyardee pizza kits, do you remember back in the day they would never give you enough pizza dough mix to make a really good crust? You would try to spread it across the pan and it would rip and tear and not even fit? Well, they stopped giving you the Parmesan cheese, but at least they gave you enough pizza dough mix. So it's actually going to probably be like really thick, so it's plenty. Anyway, I put a little bit of oil on it, so now I'm going to stick it in the oven, maybe for just about five minutes, not even five minutes, then I'm going to start adding my toppings. So this is what the sauce looks like. It has the pepperonis in it. There's a lot of pepperonis in here. So that's what it looks like. I really wish they would have gave me two separate cans, but that's okay. And I have a bunch of cheeses here. I have mozzarella finely shredded parmesan and then a blend of cheese. So it's just going to be like a three cheese pizza. And this sauce actually to me is what really really makes it good. Okay so this is what it looks like. I just put it in there for a little bit, not even five minutes. So now I'm going to start adding my sauce and toppings and then I'm going to brown it up a little bit. So it's looking pretty good. Get the sauce on it. Trying to do this with one hand. Yeah, just about half the can. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I added three different kinds of cheeses and a little bit of Italian seasoning. That's it, along with the sauce that has the pepperonis already in it. So now I'm going to get this in the oven and get it all melted and browned up. So this is how it turned out and all from a Chef Boyardee pizza making kit. And I have one more so I can make one more pizza. Maybe the next time I make it I'll add a lot more toppings. But it turned out great. So I'm going to let it sit for just a few minutes and then I'm going to cut it and let you guys see what the inside looks like. 